Hi, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Rebecca from The Loop Team. Hi, I'm Tamini, also from The Loop Team. We've gotten a lot of questions on the team about how Loop works and how people can use it in their own work. So in this video, we want to spend time answering some of those questions and doing a live demo of Loop in action. Some of the things you can expect to learn here are what Loop is and how it works, in Teams and Outlook, an example setup of a Loop workspace, and then how to take things further with integrations across your favorite tools like Jira, Trello, and Figma. Each year at Microsoft, we gather data on work trends across the world. And one of the things that we know is that meetings are inefficient. In fact, the data shows that over 50% of employees say it's difficult to brainstorm in a meeting, it's difficult to catch up if they join a meeting late, it's hard to summarize what has happened, and at the end of the meeting, the next steps are unclear. On the Loop team, we think that Loop and AI can help solve some of these problems. Loop is a flexible canvas with portable components that's aimed at helping teams think, plan, and create together. You can think of this flexible canvas as a new document format, and it's aimed at having collaboration and AI built into the experience. It allows you to assemble different pieces together to get your work done. And Loop has two key parts, components and workspaces. Loop components bring this collaborative canvas inside your existing apps, like Teams, Outlook, Whiteboard, OneNote, and Word. They stay live and in sync no matter where they live, so you and your team can get things done in the apps that you're already in. Loop workspaces are the second part, and we think of workspaces as a space for you and your team to get project work done. Within a workspace, you can gather important links, documents, and pages for your project and invite your teammates. Some of the things that Loop works well for is helping teams share knowledge, organize meeting notes, manage projects, brainstorm together, and more. And all of this comes together in the Loop app, which we're really excited to show you in a live demo next. To show you how Loop works, Tamini and I are going to show an example project to bring it to life. In this case, let's pretend we're on a distributed marketing team prepping for the launch of a new sneaker line in New York. We're a small brand, but we have a loyal following and we know from past experience that people will be lining up to get these sneakers. As we're planning, we need to set a date for the launch. I could go back and forth with the team in chat about pros and cons of different dates, but instead I'll use a loop component. I can add some ideas along with pros and cons, vote on my preferred date, and send it to the team. I just received the loop component voting table from Rebecca. I can add my pros and cons as well as votes directly from Teams chat. Now that the launch date is decided, I will kick off our planning meeting by setting up a reoccurring Teams meeting. Inside the Teams meeting invite, I'm able to add a loop collaborative meeting notes and pre-fill out the agenda before sharing it with others. This will automatically be sent to all the participants along with the meeting invite so they can add their own agenda topics. During the call, all meeting participants will be able to view and edit the meeting notes together directly from Teams. Additionally, Copilot can take notes for us. As we wrap up this meeting, I can assign tasks to my colleagues and you can open it in Planner and To Do. Now that we've had our kickoff meeting, we have our work cut out for us prepping for the launch. As we continue working, we'll have more documents, chats, meetings, and content spread all over the place. And this can get overwhelming, but we can use a loop workspace to better organize our project and make progress with less overwhelm. Let's try it out. From the meeting chat, I'll click on this option that says open in loop workspace. From there, you can see that loop automatically names the workspace and invites the people who were in the meeting. And if there were guests in that meeting, they'll be invited as well. They don't even have to be people within your company. From there, when I click next, you can see that any content that was shared in the meeting is automatically pulled into the workspace. I can choose loop components, Word documents, or anything else that was shared in the meeting, and it will automatically be pulled into my workspace. From there, I'll just go ahead and create the workspace and we're ready to get started. Now that we've created our workspace, Let's add an overview page to show who's working on the sneaker drop and what it's all about. To insert new content on my page, I'll type the forward slash. From here, I can see a bunch of different building blocks that I can add to my page. 
this is a really great way to familiarize yourself with some of the things that Loop can do. The slash menu has simple things like tables, checklists, bullet lists, different types of text formatting options and headers, and templates that turn into something more advanced, like a task list that syncs with Microsoft Planner, a voting table, or even a Q&A session. You can also find different integrations with products that you already use, like GitHub, Planner, Jira, and Trello. For our marketing team, I'll add a short video explaining exactly what the sneaker drop is about. Hey y'all, thanks so much for joining. Um, here's what we're working on for the project and we're so excited for you to be on the team. Uh, thank you so much. Loop is also built to feel like a physical space for your team to work in the digital world. To make the workspace feel fun and welcoming for the crew, I might add a boost to the page too. Here we have our launch plan and you can see that our team has broken it out into different phases. I'm personally super excited about this, so I'm gonna share my excitement with the team with a little congratulatory boost. Maybe I'll do the party. Great work team. And finally, I'll paste a Figma link that shows our launch site designs. You can see when I paste it, it embeds right on the page so our team can get a quick view of the launch site plans. Now let's fast forward about a week in time. Our team has been working away to get ready for the sneaker drop and Loop has helped us stay in sync across time zones, make decisions faster, stay organized and more. Let's have a look at our launch plan. I've created this table to keep track of all the phases of our launch plan so we can then share it with our leadership team. This table can be converted into board view to be more easily digestible. So you can group it by phase or the status of each work item. You can then drag and drop each item across the columns as the work is completed. The ability to switch between board view and tables is extremely powerful for different scenarios. You can use it for any table that has preset column types as labels, including custom labels. I need to share the launch plan with additional stakeholders, so I can share this loop page as a loop component by copying and pasting it into Outlook. Alternatively, if I want to only share the board without sharing the rest of the page, I can turn the board itself into its own component by first clicking on the menu next to it, selecting create a component, then I can do the same action of copying the component. I'll go to my Outlook and paste this component into the email message. It will render embedded in the email message itself and be live for everyone to edit directly from Outlook. So stakeholders won't need to switch between apps to open it. The full context is already in the email message itself and is super easy to edit. So that's almost everything you need to know to get started with Loop. But if you want to learn more, tune in to our future learning sessions with teammates to learn things like Copilot and Loop and more. Don't forget to try out Loop today and follow us on social media on LinkedIn and X for product updates and tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching.